But first this evening, Donald Trump protesters lighting fires and throwing rocks at officers. They were the images of Albuquerque seen around the country last night. Now the city is cleaning up in the heart of the city and looking for the culprits behind it. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is live inside the convention center with more. Madeline. Yeah, well, Jessica and Dean, cracked windows and this shattered door behind me are all that remain here after about a thousand people protested Donald Trump's visit to New Mexico. Now, Albuquerque police say that six of their officers were injured last night, including one with a broken nose. While peaceful protesting did take place before the Trump rally, people became destructive as night fell. APD says people throwing rocks and trash hit six officers. They had bumps and bruises. One had a broken nose. People also threw rocks at APD horses. All seven of those horses were taken to the vet today to be checked out. They are okay. A state police officer was also hit with a broomstick and a Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputy was injured somehow. Two state police patrol cars were damaged. Now, Mayor Barry released a statement earlier today about the violence. He commended the first responders who were in the thick of the madness. He says the city will work diligently to find the people who hurt them and damaged thousands of dollars worth of property. Now, City Councilor Ken Sanchez also released a statement today about the violence. He says that it's not the peaceful protesters who are to blame here for the chaos, but rather a small but organized group of troublemakers who were only there to act out. They were the true problem. Back to you. All right, thank you, Madeline. APD says four people in total were arrested last night. Three of those people arrested were inside the rally at the convention center, two of them juveniles. Oh, uh, isn't that nice? I'd get them out of here. Get them out. The protesters interrupted Trump during his speech, and he was quick to respond. He even took jabs at a couple of teenagers. How old is this kid? Get out of here. Get out of here. Still wearing diapers. As you can see, APD removed the protesters from the event. The one you see here, Tylena Hardy, was arrested, as well as Jose Cuevas. Both have bonded out of jail. Donald Trump turned to social media following last night's protests. On Twitter, the candidate posted, quote, The protesters in New Mexico were thugs who were flying the Mexican flag. The rally inside was big and beautiful, but outside, criminals. So who's to blame for last night's violence? One Albuquerque city councilor says two local groups are responsible. Dan Lewis posted his comments on Facebook saying the chaos was not Trump's fault, but quote, directly the result of so-called public interest groups such as Progress New Mexico and the Southwest Organizing Project. He went on to say that these organizations started out last night as community action groups, but turned into hate groups. We reached out to both of those groups. Our event was a table where people could register to vote and make signs, and it packed up and concluded before the Trump rally even began at 7 o'clock. We do it in a peaceful, nonviolent manner year round, and then when Trump get, comes to town, um, it's a wild circus. Lujan also said that violence follows Trump wherever he goes and that he's the common denominator.